Hey everyone, Mike Scan here, Senior Pastor of Epic Life Church in Terrell, Texas. I want to welcome you to another Three Minute Thursday where we take three minutes or less and look at subjects and topics of the Bible. Today we're going to talk about commandment number two. And before we get started though, don't forget to subscribe to our page, like this video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to leave a comment below letting us know, man, if you have an idea or a topic or what you thought about our video, let us know. So the commandment number two is very interesting. Let's take a look at it. Let's read it from the passage from the scriptures. It says in Exodus chapter 20, verses 4 through 6, it says, Do not make for yourself a graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or on the earth below or in the water under the earth. Do not bow down to them. Do not let anyone make you serve them. For I, Adonai, your God, am a jealous God bringing the iniquity of the fathers upon the children to the third and the fourth generations of those who hate me, but showing loving kindness to thousands of generations of those who love me and keep my commandments. How powerful of a verse is this? This really walks hand in hand with the first command that we talked about last time. And the whole idea behind this is looking and evaluating our lives. So, we live in a different time frame, don't we? We live in an era right now that we don't really chisel out and make these graven images. Or do we? We do it differently. Remember last week I talked about that we should evaluate our time and evaluate where our finances and all of our time is going to. Well, that's going to show you what that graven image is. You know, how much time do you spend circulating or going through the little thumb motion, right? How, how much time do we use on social media? What about binge watching things like Netflix? Things that completely pull you away from the things of the Father, right? Those can become or are graven images. I was talking yesterday on our Wednesday night teaching, and one of the things I said about this very topic is what's really, there's one that we're missing that we have put in uh, above even God. What is it? Well, to be honest with you, it's ourselves. We've become the graven image. I was talking to a pastor not long ago, and I said to them, I said, you know what we've done? We have created God in our image after our likeness. We want God to be like us. And the problem with that is, is God's not like that. That's a graven image. That's a thing that you have created or I've created to think that God is in this box, and this is how God is. But the problem is, if we read the, the, the Torah, if we see the commandments, if we see the things, one thing that we would identify with God is number one is that he is very jealous. Why is God so jealous? Well, think about this for a moment. You and I were created in his image after his likeness. That's what the Bible says, right? In the book of Exodus or Genesis. Right? We made after him. So he he created us, he loves us. And this word jealousy, man takes on the connotation of a marriage, of a husband and a wife. The same thing that Yeshua is. The Bible says that Yeshua is the groom and that the body of Messiah, the church, is the bride. And so God becomes very jealous when we begin to worship things more than we worship Him, more than we bow to Him, more than we spend our time with Him. It's very powerful. I mean, think about it. When you go back and you look at the history of Israel, you'll see the greatest thing uh, that this really this scripture deals with, and it's dealing with putting other gods and images before the Father out there. But this is about, man, that we're worshiping something else, something other than the Father, the one that created us. And he said, because we do that, let's look at that again. I want to point out a couple of things. Let's look at that. Look at what it says right here. It says... It says that, number one, it says that he is a very jealous. Do not bow down to them. Do not let anyone make you serve them. Or watch this. For I, Adonai, your God, am a jealous God. Did you see that? He's a jealous God. Now watch what happens. It says that when we do that, when we put other things above our Heavenly Father, it says we're bringing iniquity of the fathers upon the children to the third and the fourth generations. Do you think God takes this serious? He does. But watch what he does here. Watch. Don't leave with that. Let's leave with this on verse 
Six, but showing loving kindness to who? To the thousands of generations of those who love me and keep my commandments. The bottom line is, if we say we love God, it's just like saying we love our spouse. Well, if I love my wife, then I'm not going to go look at images and worship images, right, that that take that place. Those, that worship, that admiration, that uh, standing in awe of my bride belongs to her and no one else. And God's the same way. And he says, when you do that, you're showing loving kindness. When you love me, when you uh, don't put anything above our relationship. And the nation of Israel failed in that. They failed in the fact because they allowed themselves to be carried away with false images and false gods. And they begin to worship them. And what did God do in the end? Well, we see in the book of Isaiah that he divorced them. Tough. God's not, God's not into that business, but he will because he wants our devotion. He wants to be the Lord of our lives. And I hope you understand that today, that God loves you so much. You have been made in his image. And as Yeshua said, that we're to love God with all of our heart, all of our soul, all of our strength. Don't put anything in, in front of God. And don't let anyone, let anything, distraction or otherwise, come in between your relationship between him and you. I know this went a little bit longer than normal, but I want to let you know that we love you. God bless you, man, and I uh, can't wait to see you on our next 3-Minute Thursday.